that's an enormous number by my uh, by my estimation. I had I see you're uh, you're informing me, you're giving me yeah. news. From my vantage point on the ground, it's really tough to see, and it's disappointing uh, for me to hear that there's still that many people on site. Because as Julie's pointed out, uh, if they're still here, they're asking for trouble, and trouble, you know, uh, has arrived. It keeps coming. Well, officers are coming in. Some are coming out because they're you know they're tired, they're hot. They need to be relieved. And believe you me, they have van loads of officers here to relieve them. They're not going to tire out. But the protesters are. I hope they hydrated well. Yeah, Tom, let's medication. go up top with Julie again. And Julie, can you see where these protesters are locking arms again and um, trying to be in solidarity against the police? And there's a little, little bit more tension going on. Yeah. All right, we just lost Julie's uh, signal there, but. Uh, and, hey, Dan. Uh, we, can see. Uh, we also have Dan Ponte on the phone with us, who's uh, out on the ground. He's been out in it with some of these protesters. He's on the phone with us. Dan, uh, where are you right now, and what do you see? Yeah, we're right uh, next to this uh, the, the front line uh, 